Well, 39 days later and the search continues for the 20 year old Fort Hood soldier who went missing in April. Today, friends and family were on foot searching, praying and hoping to find any kind of evidence connected to her disappearance. Hey guys, it's Shannon and today I'm actually not going to be doing a creator shout out for this video because we are talking about a topic that deserves the utmost respect and I don't want to unwillingly associate another content creator with this subject. We are going to be talking about a really serious subject today, but it's also incredibly important seeing as there is someone who is currently missing, someone who the media isn't reporting on, and someone who probably needs help at this point. I did want to warn you guys before we started the video that it's going to be very heavy. However, if you are able, I urge you to stay, if only just to help spread the word on this situation. Today we are going to be talking about a missing soldier from Fort Hood, Texas named Vanessa Julian. It's been a month already and we need, we need to keep pushing, definitely. She's still with all of us and it's a matter of time before somebody you know actually confesses something or we we find a way to find her ourselves the past couple months for the entire nation as well as the entire world have been incredibly incredibly chaotic i truthfully feel like we are living in one of the most chaotic and intense times in the world in recent memory and unfortunately because of that it seems like vanessa has been forgotten between the reporting on covid19 and the protests and everything else that's going on in the world there has been very little said about vanessa and her whereabouts and very little reporting on this case which makes me incredibly worried and makes the family incredibly distressed. One of the most important things to missing persons cases is public outreach. Because when the public comes together, we are able to conduct better searches and hold the police accountable and make them close the case faster and keep it in their mind. However, either due to lack of reporting by mainstream media or the general public fear of the pandemic, reporting on this case has been virtually non-existent and I am forced to get the majority of my information for this video from the Facebook page that's dedicated to finding her. Again, the police have not been doing great searches, the family is incredibly distressed by the lack of effort and due to the pandemic not a lot of people have come out in terms to search for her according to the facebook find vanessa julian vanessa entered the military right after graduating from high school for better opportunities and successes she graduated as a varsity soccer player and was at the top 15 percent of her class she loves to be active play soccer run and just exercise many say that she is one of the most caring supportive brave strongest nicest teammate friend sister, and loved one. She entered the military in order to protect and serve the nation. She is one of the many who put their lives at risk for the nation, and she deserves to be respected and known. Today, over 60 family members and friends of the 20-year-old gathered at Miller Springs Park and Ogletree Gap Preserve, breaking up into small groups to cover as much ground as possible. I'm hoping that the search is, you know, it can lead us to cross certain areas out the map because it's a huge area that we have to keep searching. Vanessa Gillen's family and friends are determined to find her. In fact, they say they'll drive here again and again until they figure out what happened. Like the post mentioned, Vanessa is stationed at Fort Hood, Texas, where she's a private first class. She was last seen at 1 p.m. in the parking lot of the Regimental Engineer Squadron headquarters, and unfortunately, it is not clear if she was seen by another person walking or by a camera. I have looked at multiple different articles, multiple different sources, and some will say she was seen on camera, others will say she was seen by a person, others will report that there's not a lot of cameras on Fort Hood, and it's very unclear. The reporting on this is very few and far between, and so I'm trying to make do the best I can. Can. According to the reports, though, she was leaving work at 1 p.m. when she was last seen. However, her car keys, room key, wallet, and ID were all left at work, meaning that if she was leaving by herself going AWOL, she wouldn't be taking her car, her money, or anything she needed to get back, or anything she needed, really, to continue living her life. When she was last seen, she was wearing a black shirt, purple leggings, and black Nike shoes. And, as far as we have been made aware, she didn't have a change of clothes with her and nothing was found missing in her living area, and we know that she didn't have money. Meaning, if you see her, she's probably wearing the same outfit. As for information about this case, that is virtually all we know from the Army's internal investigation into Vanessa's disappearance. Which I kind of understand, but I also think they are greatly hindering the case by not sharing more information and not speaking more about this. If I can read all of the information that has been verified on this case this quickly, that is genuinely upsetting to me. <laughs> Pain, frustration, and determination brought 20 friends and family members from Houston to Colleen to shed more light on the missing case of private first class Vanessa Gillen. We feel very desperate and we are about three hours away, so that is no help to us. Um, 
this concern that we have, it's really hard for us to just stay there and we felt the need to come here and make sure people know that we are very concerned about our friend and we need to find her. But I know she's going to be with us soon, I can feel it. I know that um, if people have hope, it gives me hope, it gives me strength to keep pushing because there's been days where I just want to like, I don't know, just vanish as well because I can't take it. Army CID agents say they only get involved in missing soldier cases when they believe suspicious or unusual activity is involved. And that is why her family is speaking out about the situation and using their voices to express their discontent with how this case has been handled. On the Find Vanessa Julian Facebook, they write, Fort Hood military base failed to protect her and the many that have gone missing from the base. We will get back to that. Vanessa Julian is a human being too. She deserves respect and awareness. She was being sexually harassed on the base. She is absolutely no one's property and should not have been seen as a sexual object. No soldier, male or female, should be disrespected mentally or physically. Her case needs to be heard and justice is demanded. Just put yourself in her mother's, father's, or family member's position. The feeling they have, the feeling a mother has when she knows nothing about her child. No soldier should be left behind. Raise your voice about her. God knows how much pain we're in, how many sleepless nights we've had. We're so desperate for answers and I feel like today, or however long we're going to be here, We'll come back if we have to. We're going to find her and we're going to get the answers that we need. And whoever did this is going to pay for them. It's going to pay for what they have done. According to a statement from Fort Hood, the Army's Criminal Investigation Command is leading the investigation. And multiple agencies are assisting with the search. Still, Myra says communication with officials on Fort Hood has been limited. Now, there are a couple of things of massive importance to mention from that statement that her parents put out. First off is the fact that Vanessa is one of many people to go missing from the Fort Hood base. On August 20th of 2019, Gregory Wendell Morales also went missing from Fort Hood and was last seen driving his black Kia Rio. Just like Vanessa, he had no reason to go AWOL or to just want to disappear and was even in the process of being discharged from the army. So he really had nothing holding him back there. So we have two people within a year going missing one after the other from the same military base. And just like with Vanessa, there was very little public information, very little reporting done on the situation. And Gregory's family has been at the forefront of trying to get him home, which is unbelievably aggravating to me as an outsider because these are two people who signed up to protect and serve the country and risk their life. Meanwhile, nobody is protecting them. Their legacy is just gone now. Where are they? The military isn't helping. They needed the military to help and protect them. And now nobody is. And it makes me incredibly suspicious of what's going on at that military base. Like, why is it so unsafe that two people within a year, within a year, are going missing from that base? That is far too many. And there's no reporting? That's insane. The Post also talks about how she was being sexually harassed at the base, something that all the reporting and investigation by the military seemingly left out. He was in South Carolina then Virginia before coming to Fort Hood at the beginning of the year. She wasn't as joyful as she was usually and um, I don't know you know what 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 happens in there that make, made like a, a complete change in her. Myra has recently been going through her old texts with Vanessa. One message sticks out. She pretty much didn't like being at Fort Hood and um, hopefully one day she could open up to me in regards to what was bothering her. According to Vanessa's family, she was being sexually harassed by a sergeant. Unfortunately, though, that sergeant has not been named or made public, which seems like something that the army would at very least like to say no, that didn't happen, or at least comment on. But so far, they've remained completely hushed on the fact that she told family members and other people in her life that a high-ranking sergeant was treating her this way. Now, unfortunately, this is not uncommon, especially in the military. In fact, when I was younger, my brother was in the Navy, and I inquired about potentially joining because I had no direction in life. And he straight up told me no, because specifically as a woman, I would be sexually harassed. He talked at length about how terrible it is in the Navy or any military for women because they have to work 10 times harder to get one eighth the amount of respect. And he stated that until he saw some changes in the system, he didn't think it was a safe place for any woman, not just his little sister. The fact remains that in the U.S. military alone, at least 25% of women serving have been sexually assaulted, with 80% of them reporting that they had been sexually harassed. So Vanessa's case and her 
her sexual harassment. Unfortunately, it's not anything new, but her sexual harassment by a sergeant mixed with the minimal reporting, mixed with the army safeguarding information, it makes it extremely easy to believe that there's something larger going on here that's being covered up. Unfortunately, again, due to everything happening in the world and what I think is pretty garbage investigating by the army, there is no news on this case. There's nothing really we can go off of here and there's no leads that we can follow. And that to me is not okay. If you guys can, please share this video in order to get the word out about Vanessa. If you are able to, please donate to the GoFundMe in order to help aid the search down below. Follow the case on Twitter at FindVanessaG or on Instagram at FindVanessaJulin. And please spread the word about Vanessa. Something definitely isn't right here and I think we can actually make a difference. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know what you think is going on here. If you believe there is a conspiracy, if she is being hidden, what do you think down below? And please go send her family some love either on the Facebook page, Twitter, or Instagram. I hope you guys have a sincerely great day and I will see you in my next video. Later!